Tornadoes sometimes strike with little or no warning. Minutes can mean the difference between life and death. Researchers at four universities are working to improve tornado forecasting by using drones. Here again is Tony Ducopo. 13 minutes. That's the average time between the detection of a tornado forming to when it touches down, leaving people in its path scrambling to find a safe place. Just look at the condensate coming up. Oh, man. This countdown was a reality for parts of the Midwest and South earlier last week as severe storms and tornadoes battered the areas, leaving at least 14 people dead. Oh my gosh! Unlike other weather systems, tornadoes form quickly, are hard to predict, and even harder to track. Jamie Jacob and his team from Oklahoma State University are working on a set of drones designed to fly into and analyze severe weather systems. The meteorologists are very good at predicting uh, how, is, when, and where the storm is going to develop, uh, but not so good at determining when a storm is going to form a tornado at a particular place or a particular time. They're built to withstand rain, hail, and winds of at least 80 miles an hour. And they drop a device called a drop zone that collects data from inside a potential tornado. So the goal is to be able to get more data that feeds directly into those models and do that in real time. That real-time data can be a key factor in saving lives when a tornado is beginning to form. We can get to the point where we can warn an hour ahead of time. The drones need a few more years of testing before being put to use by the National Weather Service. The technology uh, is a little ahead of the regulatory processes, however, so we may have to wait for uh, the, the legal side uh, to catch up with us. Tony DeCopel, CBS News, New York.